After 11 months, masks are common. But at the Ohio State House on Wednesday, they were controversial. Cure to fight the enemy, COVID-19, has been far worse than the virus itself. More than two dozen people crammed into a committee room on Wednesday to support a bill that would curtail Governor DeWine's authority to issue public health orders like mask mandates. Many of those that testified didn't wear a mask, nor did they practice social distancing. Senator Cecil Thomas of Cincinnati had to step away, he says, to protect his immunocompromised daughter. I really respect everybody here, but no one's wearing a mask, and the data clearly speaks to how the virus spreads. At the Ohio State House, the most public building in the state, masks are not required because state lawmakers have refused to make it so. The state house is also exempt from the governor's public health orders. It really doesn't surprise me the lawmakers in Ohio haven't overwhelmed me with their enthusiastic uh, support of science during this pandemic. Dr. Amy Edwards from the University Hospitals says scenes like this are enraging. I'm so far past frustration, I can't even tell you. And so too is the continued misinformation being spread in anti-masking and anti-vaccination circles. This is why it matters. So this blue line is your cases of COVID in the vaccinated arm of the trial, and this gray line is cases of COVID in the unvaccinated arm of the trial. This is why we want people to take the vaccine. It works. Some of those who spoke Wednesday had legitimate concerns about the pandemic's impact on small businesses and education. However, Dr. Edwards says the bevy of false or misleading claims makes her job even more difficult. If you would trust me to take care of your child in the hospital or bring your child to my clinic, then I don't understand why you don't trust me here.